First of all, thank you very much for accepting our application to pitch here. Preparation and participation in the conference already helped us to enhance our concept. Publica is about books. Books have a market worth more than $100 billion, and if you look at e-books, and something fascinating is happening there, large publishers, oligopolies, have lost their share to individual self-publishing authors. Yet, it's an emerging market, and it has its problem that we believe Publica can solve. Precisely, they have two problems. First is creation of the books, and second is distribution. If you speak about creation, books are long, complex processes involving, involving multiple skills and professionals, proofreaders, editors, cover artists, self-publishing authors are one-man army. They don't have funds and time to make a really quality title. Quality titles need funding. There is no funding in self-publishing industry. We believe we can solve it, but let's first discuss the second problem we believe an industry has. Distribution. Imagine you made it. You wrote your book. Congratulations. How do you distribute that? You are either in Amazon's world garden with geofencing, or you signed up with a niche publisher who demands exclusivity, and then you stuck, stuck with their audience. Authors want to distribute worldwide. What could be a solution for that? We believe it's a token. A token that both represents your ownership of a particular book and at the same time serves as an access key to access the content and read this particular book. An ERC20 token with all the virtues of that, transferable, tradable. Does it already ring a bell for you, or we can look into how exactly it solves? Or well, into some scenarios of how it might solve, because each time we speak with an author, we get more and more use cases that they imagine they can energize on our protocol. First, funding. How does Publica bring funding to self-publishing industry? Think about a book ICO. An author brings their community and new fans, and then he sells a token that represents an access to a literary work that is not yet created, but eventually will be, and the readers, the buyers of these read tokens will be able to access. Does it sound familiar to you? Book ICO. <laughs> well, funding solved. Distribution. How we can enable worldwide distribution without national borders, languages, and uh, a necessity to attach your credit card to your, to your user account? Well, blockchain solves that for us. Honestly, we don't invent new blockchain. We built on top of Ethereum. It has its own network effects and liquidity. We are cautious to stuck to it. Our protocol is encapsulated in a way that we can migrate it to another blockchain or make ours. But currently, anybody, anywhere with an ERC20 compatible wallet can buy your book instantly. And you will get an instant payment. So how do we go about market and scalability with this concept? We start natural, by natural organic growth, starting from a niche, clear market of authors who write about blockchain, cryptocurrencies, and tokenization. They already signed up to publish on Publica. We demonstrate their success and move to another genre. We are not inventing a new market. There are thousands. There are hundreds, thousands of self-publishing authors already there struggling. 
Do you think they will tell no to funding coming from book ICOs? Do you think they will just don't care about funding available there and about fostering their community and getting funded from within of their fan base? Do you think they will tell no to being paid instantly and directly without any intermediaries? And just guess what readers would tell after the experience for the first time an ownership of irrevocable assets that last forever. Not your usual license in Amazon that can just disappear when you move to another country or because they decide that something has changed. Will Publico sustain this fight? How do we finance the Because naturally we have to train, we have to evangelize, we have to do many things to increase protocol adoption. We have a self-funding self -funding fee in the protocol, letting public have a small percentage of every sale transaction. Why do we need it? Among other things, we want to produce software, a free open source APIs, and reader app wallets, publisher app wallets, and modules to integrate with existing ink and e-readers to increase adoption of the protocol. And if we speak about adoption, token economy is here. The supply of tokens is fixed. Great thing is that the more success platform has, the less there will be tokens in circulation. The more authors, the more readers, the more third parties coming there, the less there will be tokens in available supply. Because there will be tokens frozen in book ICOs, in escrow, sitting on authors' wallets, waiting for a better exchange rate to cash out, and just lost. And uh, some of them sitting on reader wallets. And of course, under the condition of growing demand, we have less supply, and the price experiences an upward pressure. Uh, who is behind it, the team? Public is a spin-off of ScandiWeb. ScandiWeb is a digital agency started in 2003 from two people, now 160, living in Latvia, Riga, uh, now delivering to New York Times, Jaguar, Walmart, and eventually to blockchain space. ScandiWeb has built uh, high-load ICO platforms, for example, for Enigma, for BlockV, for Sensei, and some others. And uh, Scandiweb leadership also comes to Publica. Scandiweb founder and CEO, that's me, is also part of the Publica team. And we have Publica CEO, Joseph Mark, who is also present here. He's a serial entrepreneur from high tech and media and entertainment industry. Joseph is our why. We are how and what, but Joseph puts consciousness behind the technology we are producing. We can deliver. We have been delivering for 14 years. And, uh, we have a great community who is supporting us. More than 1,000 people who help to get the word out and connect us to authors and um, influencers and pretty much help the concept and help the campaign. Why I'm here? Our efforts and a very modest investment in marketing, if we can make call it, it's below 10,000, has enabled us to collect almost 30% of our hard cap from uh, private retail contributors. Our hard cap is $1 million. $1 million. I, I was expecting some laugh, you know. <laughs> and uh, I'm here to ask your help and your assessment as an investor to help us to raise an additional half million, because the rest we want to come from individual contributors from net, for network effects. Liquidity is exchange liquidity, because once we start, we bring good news, we can deliver and we can showcase it. We don't have any issue to deliver, it will be the team who can enjoy the first mover advantage there. And eventually when we have first authors publishing their 
there will be organic demand for read tokens. And we already have authors, and in a week we will release a section with the authors telling, yes, I will publish on Publica. Thank you very much for your attention.